Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're going to show you how to fix the problems with your Android device, crashing in apps, and general unresponsiveness in Google Chrome. Keep watching to find out more. So if you're a uh, Android user and you're using Android on your daily driver, you'll quite often find that some of your apps may crash, certain things like Gmail, Amazon Store, all those kinds of things, or possibly you're going into Google Chrome and you've got the black screen of death, which is uh, never a great look. Now, there's a really easy way of fixing this, and uh, I'll give you some tips now in this video so you can see which works for you, and hopefully this should rectify all your problems. Now, the first one is an obvious one, turn the device off. Just shut it down, restart it, then try your apps. More times than not, that will actually fix it, and a quick reboot is the ticket. But if that doesn't work for you, then we can dig a little bit deeper and actually try and rectify some of the problems which cause this. Now, one of them is the Android System Web View app. Now, this is a baked in part of the Android ecosystem, which actually controls a ton of things in the background, such as apps, all those kinds of things. So it's a really good idea to make sure that that's updated. And also Google Chrome itself. Quite often there'll be websites or apps which are updated, which use components of Google Chrome's browser, but because you haven't got it updated on your particular device, it means that the apps will crash, not load, or just produce a black screen. So let's go over to the device now and I'll show you how to update them. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go into your settings. Now your device may look slightly different from mine. This is a Nokia 3.4 running Android 10, but the principle is exactly the same. So the first thing you wanna do is to go into the updates. So what you wanna do is go into the Play Store, which is normally a pretty visible icon on your desktop, and then in the search bar at the top, you can go along and find the Android system web view. So I've already typed in before, so let's uh, click on that. And you can see at the very top there, we've got a little cog icon and it says Android system web view made by Google LLC. So we're gonna click on that one. And as you can see on my screen, I've actually got the option to either uninstall it, which we definitely don't wanna do. And we've got the option to update it. So all you need to do is to click on the update button and then that will upgrade in the background just wait for it to do its thing. You'll see the pending marker, possibly a loading icon, that kind of thing. Just wait a while and let it do its thing. Okay, so if you get stuck, which some of you possibly will do on the pending message on that particular update, then what you need to do is to go into your settings. So uh, scroll down and get your settings cog, however you need to do it on your particular device. And then what you wanna choose is apps and notifications. And then apps and notifications, you want to choose the Google Play Store. Now, for me personally, it's actually there on the top, but you can do see all 45 apps. So you can scroll down through and find the Google Play Store. In the Google Play Store, if you go down to storage and cache, and then you've got the option for clear storage and clear cache. Now you should find that just clearing cache should do the job, so clear the cache. And then that is pretty much done. At this point, it's probably worth doing a quick reboot of your phone just to make sure that the cache is actually cleared. So once you've got that updated and it's uh, gone through, done its thing, then you can then go into the menu again. And the next thing to do is to choose Google Chrome. And you should find that it's also got the update button as well. So if you click on to the actual Google Chrome, you've got the option for uninstall or update. So we're gonna click on update. And again, you'll probably get the same thing, pending for a short while, then it just start updating. So if none of those work and you're really struggling, the pending notification is there constantly, what you can do is go into it again and choose Android System Web View Update from the Google Play Store and click on the icon rather than the update version. And there will be, in some instances, an option for you to actually uninstall the app. So you can go ahead, click on uninstall here rather than update, and then that should allow you to reboot the phone and use your phone normally. That is until the latest version of the patched WebView software is available. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a mess right now, but hopefully by the time you're watching this video, it should have settled out a little bit more. There does seem to be constant updates at the moment as of kind of March, 2021. So yeah, hopefully things will get better very quickly. But essentially, if you're finding your phone unable to use at all for things like Gmail, uh, Amazon Web Store apps, that kind of stuff, then this is a potential workaround. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, you can stick those in the comment section below. In the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.